So just a quick update. Uh, I got another 120 cell pack and uh, it's supposed to have 10 amp rated uh, high power cells, which it does. But uh, I put them in series and the BMS is tripped like the second I touched the throttle. So I had to tear them apart and bypass the BMS on the discharge again. And uh, I slapped that pack in yesterday, which uh, it's that big rectangle one in the center. And I rode it and it seemed like almost the exact performance of the other pack that had the low C rated China cells. I mean, I did buy it cheaper. So I, it was over $100 cheaper anyway. So I ended up just putting them both together. So right now I have uh, 240 cells. So it's 20 cell in series, 12 in parallel. It's not perfect. I mean, I just taped the hell out of it. I got a little supports here and there and it's all resting as good as it can. I got a little Velcro tape holding it in, in place right there. But I'm gonna get out on a ride. I'm gonna set my GPS so I have some sort of idea of uh, range and speed. Now that I extended this pack and it's so big, my uh, hand shifter just barely clears the battery right here. Kinda in the way. So the hand shifter is not gonna be there forever. Uh, seems to have a little more power already off the get, just having this many batteries in there. It barely fit into the frame like this. I taped it all up like this and just had to end up getting it in from the right side because it wouldn't fit from the left side like I normally do it. But let's give it a ride and see what happens. Well, the trails out here are just absolutely destroyed. I've already had to go through like two really swampy areas and go around four or five down trees. And now the trail is completely washed out with a river going through it. And I may have to attempt my first uh, water cross here. Bike's already a little tiny bit wet, nothing crazy. Even though I got exposed wires everywhere still. Batteries seem to hang on pretty good considering all I have is a bungee cord holding them in onto some Velcro straps. So. It is what it is. I still tend to stay in second gear on all these rocky, twisty trails. And uh, I mean, sometimes I'm at full throttle, just about ready to shift to third, but then when you shift to third and then you need second again, it's kind of a pain still. Uh, I've been thinking about looking at some sort of a linear actuator or some sort of a pole solenoid or something to have a button up on my handlebar to shift gear maybe something i look into they're kind of expensive though one to pull this weight's like a hundred dollars and they're made for like diesel pickup trucks or something crazy so i don't know if i really want to get into that but the bike's still a ton of fun and uh my gps thing screwed up i think you got to leave the app open and it says my top speed's 14 miles an hour and i was in fourth gear wide open so I'm thinking that should be more around 40 right now with this 30 amp hour pack. I'm not sure if I cross this, if the trail even keeps going. These trails are so overgrown and there's not a lot of them out here. I keep doubling back, getting lost and getting washed out to places where I can't even access. This looks like it's about a foot deep at the deepest. So I can probably cross it. 